Hey everybody, I'm Peter Schrager and this is the week six Fox NFL cheat sheet. My first point this week is that Lamar Jackson needs to be in the conversation. When I say the conversation, I'm talking about the one that you're having at the bar and it's, would you rather start your team with Josh Allen or Justin Herbert? Who's better right now? Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? Is Mahomes and Dak, are they in the con? Put Lamar in the conversation. Put Lamar in the conversation. Last week was amazing with what he did. Down 22 to three, late in the third quarter, rattles his team, they get 19 straight points, they win the game, fine. I also look at what Lamar's doing statistically. He's top five in the league in passing yards, he's top eight in the league in rushing yards, and he has more total yards than 16 different NFL offenses. And if it was just stats, that would be enough, but they're four and one, they're dealing with injuries like no other team in the league, and they are winning in such a fashion where it's the cardiac kids up and down, and he has been the calming force. I know he was a unanimous MVP two years ago, but we forget about those things. I think that Lamar Jackson deserves to be in the conversation, the one that includes Brady, Josh Allen, Herbert, and the rest. Number two, we have a new lead dog in the AFC, and I am more than fine saying it's the Buffalo Bills. This is the first time I think in four years I can say there's a better team than the Kansas City Chiefs. And now with the Chiefs at two and three and unable to stop anybody on defense, I gotta tip my cap to the Bills that they have finally gotten over that hurdle. And I say that, it was almost symbolic as Josh Allen hurdled over Chiefs cornerback Legereus Sneed in the third quarter of Sunday night's win. But they won so handedly, 38 to 20. They did it with the rain delay and they did it through the air and on the ground. But I look at what the Bills are doing right now. Besides that week one anomaly to the Steelers, which I still don't understand, they have now won four straight games. And overall in the season, they have a plus 108 point differential over their opponents. The next best point differential in the league is the Arizona Cardinals with plus 62. That is a huge, huge gap over the rest of the competition. They've got the Tennessee Titans this weekend, and on Monday Night Football, I don't have any doubt that the Bills can just keep this thing going. I think Buffalo is the lead dogs right now, and they've got the quarterback that's gonna lead the way. Number three, the Giants have something in Kadarius Toney, and this guy is a roller coaster ride every Sunday. Now, football-wise, he was fantastic Sunday in a loss to the Cowboys where just about every Giants player had to leave the field with an injury or didn't play because of injury. Kadarius Toney had 10 catches, 189 yards, and became the first rookie to have 10 or more receptions with 180 or more receiving yards since Anquan Bolden in 2003. Now, that's the good. The bad, there is emotions galore with this guy. He punched a Cowboys player, was ejected from a game, and also after tweaking his ankle, headbutted his teammate Jabril Peppers on accident on the sideline. He wears his emotions on his sleeve, but he is a ball of energy. I don't know if the Giants are going to win many games, especially with the injury situation it is right now, but I will be watching Kadarius Toney, for better or for worse. Number four, the Bears have a guy named Khalil, who I am absolutely fascinated by. And it's not Khalil Mack, it's Khalil Herbert. Their running back, Khalil Herbert was a zero star recruit in high school, basically goes to Kansas because they were the only power five program that offered him a, a scholarship, goes there, doesn't do much the first three years at Kansas and midway through the fourth season, his senior year, he's like, I'm gonna go to the transfer portal. Ends up at Virginia Tech and has this breakout massive season at Virginia Tech last season. Gets drafted by the Bears in the sixth round. And after the Bears have injuries to David Montgomery and they you know, have someone with Damian Williams, a little bit with Tariq Cohen, they give Khalil Herbert the rock and last week touches it for 18 times for 75 yards in a victory over the Raiders. Khalil Herbert, again, zero star recruit, not a big college football player, has one big season and a huge game against Virginia really, which would put him on the map, and then was drafted in the second to last round and now he's a starting running back for an NFL team that is three and two. It is Bears Packers week and everyone can talk about Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers and Justin Fields. Just watch, it might be the Khalil Herbert game. Number five, as it always is the case with the Green Bay Packers, relax, right? That's what Aaron Rodgers tells us. And in this case, I wanna talk about his wide receiver, Devontae Adams, who week one had five catches for 56 yards in a 38 to three loss and people were freaking out. Well, let's check back in as we enter week six. He leads the league in catches. He leads the league in targets. He leads the league in receiving yards. 
He leads the league with 20 yard or more catches. Devontae Adams is unstoppable and last week against the Bengals went toe to toe with the next great sensation, Jamar Chase, and outdueled him in the end. Devontae and Aaron are on a different level. They just are. They don't have many down games. Week one was a down game. They have had four straight week, weeks that have been just fantastic. And as they go up against that Bears team I just referenced, just watch. Devontae Adams will hear his name called and he will deliver because guess what? He always does. That is the cheat sheet for week six. Enjoy the football. We've got some gems. Have a great one. We'll see you next week.